Welcome back to my channel guys, I am Ryan Hall and today I'm going to show you guys how I go about creating a photography mood board on Pinterest. <laughs> I believe Pinterest is a great tool when it comes to creating photography mood boards to send to your clients. Because even if the client doesn't actually have a Pinterest account, they are still able to open up your mood board through the, the link that you send them. I just find Pinterest really quick and easy to work with. What is a mood board? Like, let's create a scenario. Let's say you've um, received a brief or a photo shoot request and it's for a beauty ed editorial shoot. The client now wants to see your interpretation of their brief. They want to see that you understand what they are trying to envision to you as the photographer. So they want to see you bounce back what they've bounced to you. Doing this, creating a strong mood board to bounce back to them, you basically create trust and future business with that client. What is a mood board? Let's say you received a, a request, a photo shoot request, and the client has basically sent over a brief. What the client is basically asking from you now is to show them that what they are trying to portray, portray to you in their written brief, you understand. So what they've basically said to you, you understand what they've said, and they want to see it through the imagery of a mood board. It's kind of like a storyboard, so it's like, with, um, I don't know if you guys can remember the old Disney shows, films, um, on video cassette, um, where you can see like, even on the DVDs, where you can see how they make the film, and then you can see the storyboard, everything starts from a script, then you get a storyboard, and then you get the actual pr the project or the production, the finished produ production. That's what this basically is. So, client will send over a script, then you create the video, the store, the storyboard, in our case, a mood board, and then you create the final product. That's what it is. So a client will send that over to you, and then they want you to bounce back to them that you understand what they've written in that script, and they can trust you with their project. Doing this, again, it creates trust and also creates future business with them. So that one client can be your success, you can like, Take your career off the ground. Mood board. Let's role play. Yeah. So let's say you've been I've, I've been given a brief. I've received received a brief today, and um, it's a beauty editorial shoot. Very simple. Close up. Um, don't want a lot of details on the eyes. Um, there's going to be eye makeup involved. Um, the color of the it's, it's it's a model, and the color of the model is going to be um, a fair skinned black girl. Um, the one a lot of the one a black girl with long hair and ringlets. Um, well, that's the model they've gone for. So let's say they've already got the model and, and that's the model. They sent over a photo of, of the model, and they gave a deep des description of what they want the photo shoot to look like. Now, not to go too deep, but I'm just gonna create a mood board on Pinterest today. Um, just just a quick one um, just to show you how to basically create one from a brief so let's let's narrow the brief down so we've got model fair brown skin long ringlet hair she's gonna have eye makeup and it's gonna be quite close up as well break that descri description down and then pop it into Pinterest type in the actual search and then from there you should actually get an idea of how to create your mood board and then what you want to add to your mood board and then what you want to send off. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do this. So we've got a girl with a fair, fair brown skin. Now, so what we'll start with, we'll start with brown girl. We'll just type in brown girl. Oh, I just typed in brown. Awesome. I've got a girl. I've got to put a girl in. Right, so as the first thing that comes up, brown girl with straight hair. And that's not what we want. We've got one girl with an afro. She looks amazing, but again, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a brown girl with, well, her skin is quite fair and long ringlets. Now, let's have a look at what we've actually got here. See, these two here are perfect. So what you do, you basically select one of these photos. I'm more, I'm more than likely gonna, gonna take the both of them, but let's select this one. And you wanna create a new board now. Now you can see the drop down menu here. I've already got boards in place that I've created previously, but we're gonna create a new board. So you wanna go down to create a new board at the bottom. And you wanna name it. So um, 
what show we name it. We didn't even give the project a name. Um, name may the name could be changed, but let's just say Pretty Brown Girl. Yeah. There we go, Pretty Brown Girl. And you can keep it a secret. Um, that way, it's just for you and your 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 client. Or you can make it a public board. That way, other people on pin on Pinterest can see your board, um, save your photos. Um, but for now, we're gonna keep it as a see a secret because it is between more myself and the client. So let's keep that a secret. Okay. And obviously, if you aren't new to, if you're familiar with Pinterest you get recommendations but if you knew this is what happens when you create a board you get recommendations but we're not going to be looking at the recommendations because we're still trying to find examples of a brown skin girl so let's skip that um we'll use this one here this girl's quite she's quite light in the, in her skin but from that photo it gives a nice brown tone with long ringlet hair it's not tight but long ringlet hair i can see that Zandaya as well. She's a prime example as well of who you want to add to your mood board. So let's just save this one into brown skin girl, just just like that. Click on Zandaya, and then again do the same thing. I say add around what five to ten of a model example, um, not of the same one, but I'm gonna take this one here because this one is killing it. That's a prime example as well. There we go, save that. Now let's just. Now we're going to. The skin's getting lighter. We don't want to get lighter skin. We want to keep the skin quite brownish. What do I mean by brownish? So close to the dark brown, not getting lighter. We want to stay in between the dark and the, the dark and the mid mid area. So, okay, so if you want to get. So now we need to get more precise. So let's type in brown girl ringlet. Let's see if it comes up. No. Okay, let's say brown girl with curly hair. There we go. Curly hair. Let's see what we get. Boom. There we go. There we go. This one here. That's a perfect one. Or natural. Well, she looks it. <laughs> Don't know nowadays. Everyone's got fake hair, fake lips, fake bottom, fake face. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna add this one, and this one here is perfect. Let's get this one. I just saw another one. I don't know if she'll pop up now. No, she won't. So let's go back. This one. Oop, where's she gone? This one here with the pretty eyes. Now she's a brown girl with pretty eyes with brown hair. So they haven't actually. Let's say on the description, I haven't actually mentioned what color hair the one because just because we're black and brown, that doesn't mean me we come with black or dark hair. Some may have blonde hair naturally, ginger, you know what I mean? So, there we go, Let's save that one. Now, I believe we've got enough photos of examples of a brown girl with long ringlet, let's say curly, long curly hair. Now, what we need. We're gonna create, now, let's talk about the eye makeup. So let's say they've said um, the one quite dark eye makeup. So they want the brown girl with long curly hair to have dark brown eye makeup. So it's gonna be a close up on the, on the face. So you're gonna see a lot of the hair and a lot of the eyes. So <clears throat> let's see what we can get. So we're just gonna type it in the search. Eye makeup or dark eye makeup. Let's see what we get. So now this one here is perfect. She's brown, she's got curly hair, and she is bas basically, the, the, the whole focus of the photo is the eye makeup, which is the, like a sapphire dark blue. I don't know if that's a color, but yeah. So let's save that one, because that kind of adds to the description. So we'll save that. Oh, we've got another one as well. Here we go, the same girl, but Kind of a different look. You no, know I might just save all of these. Get some different background also. Let's have a look at this one. There we go. We've got a different colour, different texture. I believe that looks like a matte look. But let's save this one and see what else we can get from this. Uh, 
see the eye makeup it's like a nude look so it's like a pinkish nude look so we'll save that in there as well um let's have a look at this one mm. we could save this one strictly because of the eyelashes as well so the eye makeup mixes with the eyelashes kind of adds it she this picture shows a lot of character so we're gonna add this one to it as well because you the more examples you add to your mood board um, shows your client that you're understanding their description and also seeing their vision. So, and also input, input, input in your own ideas into it as well. Because even though they've sent over a brief to you, they want to get your point of view on it as well. So adding your vision into it as well, you just create in some, something e even bigger than what they e expected. So let's see what else we can get. Um, now this girl here, I believe she looks Ethiopian or somewhere Eastern, but again, she's a brown girl. And her eye makeup looks nice, her eyebrows look nice. She has, she has a nice look. Again, character as well. Let's add that one to the pot, well, to the mood board also. Uh, what else have we got? Again, we don't want to go too light. Uh, Hmm, not much. Oh, this one here. Now with this girl, she's brown girl, and her makeup looks aston astonishing. Even her lipstick, even got the jewelry in there. If you notice, her nails are natural. She's got natural nude nails. And that's what most clients look for when it comes to beauty. They want natural, but they also want to focus on, well, the main topic at hand, so beauty editorial. So the main focus for this beauty description is the eye makeup, because it's gonna be a close-up, so don't really bother about the fit the fingers you don't need um her nails done or nothing like that. So let's add this one. So I'm 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 gonna call it that. Let's just stick with that mood but actually wait. We've got quite a few more, bear with me. Okay, kind of creating a whole new board for my next photo. Ooh, there we go. Look at that one. And she just has brown, long ringlet hair, and the eye makeup looks nude, and she's got green eyes. For those of you who know, I'm, 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 um, I'm very. My weakness is green eyes. Um, I love green, green eyes. I don't know why I just do. It's just, it's just a thing that I got. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Um, let's use this one here as well because her looks good. So she's got a glossy tone on her skin. So let's, oops, taking this time. There we go. Let's add that. So let's just call that. Let's let's say that is the mood board from the description. So the one to the brown girl with long curly ringlet hair, and the focus is on eye makeup. They haven't actually said what color eye make makeup. So you just throw examples of what you think would look good on a brown skin girl. That makes sense? Yeah. So let's have a look at the actual mood board itself. As, as you can see, I've got a lot, a lot of um, <laughs> mood boards. Um, some photography related and some not, but it's my Pinterest, so you know, I don't care. <laughs> um, oh, let's just have a look at my recent photo. So this was a photo that I recently done. You know, I'm not, in it. yeah, just go to my Instagram if you want to see that Ryan Hall photo. It should be in the description below, but let's have a look at the mood board now. So this is the mood board. So what you would do, just go through it. You'd also get some new ideas as well at the bottom, just to add to the mood board, because that's how I, well, ideas come up from references from the photos that you've already saved. It will basically show you photos that relate to them. Um, that's the good thing about pin, 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 Pinterest. So, what we'll do, we would base, basically add, go through the mood board, think, okay, cool, we've hit the nail on the spot. And then from here, we will share the mood board. Now, how do you share it? Literally just press the three dots at, um, next to the title. Um, you go to share and it gives you options. So you can send this board via WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Twitter, email, or you can just copy the link. 
copying the link is a great way for sharing it over Instagram. So if you're connecting over Instagram, just share it through there with the link. Um, and again, your clients don't have to have an actual Pinterest account to open the link. They can just view the board without having one. Um, or if it's even like, if, if well, as a bonus, if your client is already on Pinterest, you can just send them the board through to their, pin, their pin, Pinterest account and they, and they can see it. So that's how, that's how you share it. It's very simple and easy as well. Um, but yeah, that's how I create my mood boards and send them over to my clients. Um, and that's how I create the photos that I create. Um, it's written, it's envisioned, and it's put and it's put to the test, and then we have a finished product that everyone's ha happy with. So, but yeah, if this video has been useful for you and it has basically answered any questions in regards to how to create a mood board, simply give me a thumbs up below. Um, if you haven't already, especially for you newcomers, give me a subscribe. Um, I'm going to be posting content. Well, my aim is to post, to post content at least twice a week. So look out, press that bell, uh, look out for my new content. Also, if you've got any um, tips on how to create a mood board from your end, as I know there are many, many ways to do it, like through Photoshop or Canva, um, then please, by all means, just leave a comment below, um, share your knowledge or learning here or growing, might, we might as well do it all together. And um, yeah, well, that's about it. Well, I'm out. So um, it look, looks like it's getting dark. So I'm gonna say peace from now. And yeah, <laughs> bye.